Hey guys, welcome to another Thursday edition of the Vinyl Den, your channel for record collecting by record collectors. My name is Nick, and as you can see, it's another solo Thursday edition. I'm here all by myself. Uh, Ian will be back this coming Sunday. Come back and check out the show then. It'll be up at noon on Sunday, where we're going to be talking about whether or not there's a CD revival coming. But that's not what I'm going to be talking about this week. This week I'm going to be talking about a, uh, a certain website that uh, has been known for having some exclusive uh, vinyl releases that uh, I'm sure I've complained about on here and I'm sure other people have complained about it before and I just want to kind of get my uh, get my reaction out there and uh, and see if you guys have had similar experiences before I get to that though I know I, I know I'm pretty excited for a record store day this weekend uh, you know I'm sure you guys probably are too I know there's uh there's lots of cool and interesting things out there and I swear every time I look at that list or Seems to be one or two more things that pop up on it that I might end up grabbing, but uh, there. Uh, if you go back and check out this past Sunday's episode, Ian and I kind of laid out the uh, kind of the, the framework for how our local record store is going to be uh, operating during record store day. So definitely go back and check that out and uh, let us know what uh, what your store is going to be doing. So there's lots of different uh, websites out there you can get exclusive uh, vinyl releases from. I know Target does a lot of uh, exclusives. I did. I've ordered uh, an exclusive. I ordered the Aussie exclusive from uh, Best Buy earlier this year. I think it was this year. Um, so that was a, a pretty neat uh, uh, exclusive through them. Uh, different kind of splatter vinyl. So I, uh, no issues there. I've ordered from them before. Um, I know Hot Topic has done exclusives. I haven't ordered anything from them. In particular, I'm not even sure if they do those anymore. I haven't seen one on their website in a while. But I know uh, Urban Outfitters have done uh, exclusives. I, I bought a couple of things from them before. But kind of the big one out there is SRC Vinyl. And, you know, they're, they've, they're kind of known, I think, for having these kind of exclusives for a lot of different, just a wide, a, a wide array of different uh, genres and different albums. I know, like, one in particular... I was looking for earlier this year, I think it was like March or April, I was looking for I Empire on vinyl. I found a pretty good copy on Discogs, but it was a little bit more than I was willing to pay for that album. You know, it's a great album, but I ended up finding an exclusive on SRC Vinyl. And, you know, that's probably one of the smoother transactions I've had with the website. You know, I, I, I ordered it. It did take a couple of weeks to ship, but I don't know how much... That was on SRC Vinyl, or, you know, it was right at the beginning of the pandemic, so I don't know if there was kind of delays from that. But, uh, like I said, this is probably one of the smoother transactions. There was some kind of hiccups, but it wasn't it wasn't anything too difficult. You know, I, I, a lot of times when you order things from, like, eBay, I kind of already expect there to be sometimes kind of a, a, a delayed or a longer ship period. So it's, it wasn't anything I was too upset about. Uh, but I have had some... Some pretty negative shipping or buying experiences with, with them, and uh, it's which is really unfortunate because, like I said, I think they put out some really great products, some great sounding products, and they do a lot of really good things. It's just their customer service isn't always the best. If there's going to be delays, I, I'm okay with it if you let me know there's going to be delays. So, the first time I ever bought anything from SRC Vinyl, it was in. May of last year, I was looking for um, when your when your heart stops beating by Plus Forty Four, which is a side po uh, side project of Blink One Eight Two. But uh, it's a fantastic album if you haven't heard it. But uh, it w I was trying to find it on vinyl, and I was having a hard time finding anything. And I'm just kind of stumbling across SRC Vinyl, and lo and behold, they had a, an exclusive light blue on pre order. So I was like, great, I can get it before it even hits, uh, hits the market. I know I'll get a copy of it. So I ordered it in May, and I want to say it was probably, I think it came out later in May or, or it might have been June, beginning of June maybe it came out. So if, if you know, finally the, the day comes that it gets released, I'm like, sweet, I check the website, nothing. Okay, maybe it takes a couple of days. So I checked the website a couple more days, a couple of days later. I think it had been moved to ready to ship, 
but it still took took like an extra I want to say three or four weeks for it to finally ship. I think I had to put in like a couple of different tickets through their website trying to find out what was going on with it. I'm like, hey, you know, if it's like I said, if it's going to be delayed, just let me know. And uh, I'm not sure if I did it again. I think I did get a response, and, and they said it was just a kind of some kind of hiccup uh, in the in the kind of shipping process but it was coming so yeah I, I did end up getting it so like i said it was a little delayed but it was a uh overall that wasn't too bad of, of, a, of an experience i know in august of that year i'd also ordered four titles two of them were in stock and two of them were pre-orders and kind of this this shipment the issues with this shipment i i don't blame src vinyl for this it was kind of all on me but uh I, I guess I didn't. It didn't dawn on me to not order in stock items on the same ticket as a pre order, because you know they don't want to double the the shipping charges. So they ended up kind of holding everything until the two pre orders were released. So I ordered it in August. I want to say it was October when the pre orders came out. And lo and behold, when the pre orders came out, the other two albums that were in stock when I placed order, were no longer in stock. So I ended up having to cancel that whole, whole order, and then uh, I end up reordering one of the albums, and then I end up getting the other three through my local record store, which is fine. I, that's a, I always encourage everyone, and I always do it my, try to do it myself whenever I can, is to buy from your, your local brick-and-mortar stores, especially now with everything going on, they really need your, our, uh, the, the whole community support for sure. Um, but like I said, that was kind of more on me. I guess I didn't lesson learn, you know, don't, don't pre-order things and order shipments at the same time. I think it was around that same time in, in October that I had placed a couple of, oh, I'm sorry. In October I had pre-ordered. So I, like I said, I'm a big Blink-182 fan. I've got, uh, black and colored versions of all their albums. I know it's a little obsessive, but you know, it's <laughs> what I do, I guess that's part, part of the collector in me, I guess. And, uh, the only thing I was missing was a colored copy of Enema of State. So in October, uh, SRC vinyl started taking pre-orders for the, uh, with, for a blue copy of Enema of the State it was supposed to come out in December. Like sweet. So I pre-order it. All right. I forget all about it. Right. So I think in, in, in early December or late, it was either late November because it was right around Thanksgiving. It might have been just after Thanksgiving or beginning of December. I placed a couple more orders. Smooth sailing. No issues. I got everything. And then here comes the, the release date in December. I think it was like December 28th or something like that is when Enema was supposed to be released. And uh, so I go on there and it no longer says December. Now it says February. Okay, so, uh, so it's probably some kind of manufacturing issue. I messaged them, sent them a couple of emails, say, hey, you know, just kind of find out if, if that's going to be, if that's kind of the solid ship date. Never heard anything back. So in February, uh, you know, I, the, the release date comes and goes. I go on there and look. It says, I think I said, move to April. So April comes. And then... It, it there wasn't anything on their website. It just kind of went past the ship date. Never heard anything. So this is kind of why I started getting kind of irritated with them. And I uh, had sent them several emails. I started uh, put a, put a couple of tickets in through their website. I uh, had started direct messaging them on Twitter. Really no response for a while. And then I want to say it probably took them. Uh, two, three, four weeks to finally message me back on Twitter and say that, you know, because of the pandemic and everything that they were having manufacturing issues, which, you know what, I completely understand. Cool. Okay. So I, the, the communication has been made at this point. So I come, I'm pacified. That's fine. So, you know, then the, the release date got moved back again, which is, that's fine. And then I think it got moved to, so it was been moved to August 28th, which would be tomorrow if you're watching this video on the day it comes out. But the funny thing is, come July, I happen to get on their website, kind of look for some other things, you know, just kind of browsing around, and notice that my shipment now says ready to ship. 
So I'm like, okay, cool. So on, uh, so I sent him another message. I'm like, hey, you know, what's going on? I know this says August 28th. It says ready to ship. Are these coming out early or what? And uh, as of the recording of this, of course, I never heard anything. So I'm, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what uh, what happens at the end of this month. We'll see if it actually gets shipped out. Hopefully it does because, like I said, it's an album that I'm kind of really hoping to, to get <laughs> my hands on. It's something I've been waiting on for since August. when I pre I'm sorry, October when I pre-ordered this thing. So hopefully it doesn't take a year to get it. I know I've read uh, reviews online where people have had issues like that with them before. And it just, uh, you know, I think it's really unfortunate. I think that, uh, you know, when you've got these exclusive releases that they get, you know, I think people kind of rely on being able to get these. And if they're not going to get their hands on them and that's not going to be able to be shipped in a reasonable amount of time, I think it's on SRC vinyls, you know, shoulders to kind of, man up and, and let people know what's going on because like i said a lot i'm sure a lot of these uh, negative reviews that they get online wouldn't be there if they had better communication from their customer service department but you know i don't know their their the the company structure or anything about that or or how many people they've got their work in there i just know that uh you know there's there's i think there's an obligation there to kind of keep an open line to to the customers and let them know what's going on it's really interesting, though, because, I, like I said, I've had some issues with, with some shipments. You know, other, other shipments have gone kind of smooth. So it's a really kind of hit and miss, I feel like, a lot of times with them, which is really unfortunate because, like I said, you know, they, they put out some really great products. They put out some really great records. The the exclusive records that they, that they press and release, you know, always sound fantastic. I've never had any, any issues with the audio quality from any of their products. It's a company that I definitely will buy from again. I don't want to cloud anyone's opinion too much, but uh, you know, I, I kind of go into the process with an open mind and kind of understand that. Look, if this is in stock, even though it, it says ships in two to three days, you know, if it doesn't ship for two weeks, I'm, you know, I, I kind of understand that at this point. But it's uh, like I said, I just want them to kind of let me know, let me know what's going on, and, and I think. That's probably, like I said, that's a, a recurring issue with I've seen a, with a lot of the the uh, negative reviews I've seen about them online is probably could be kind of tidy tidied up with some better customer service, really. Well, that's all I got this week for you guys. You know, like I said, definitely go come back and check out the show on Sunday. Like so we're going to be talking about CDs. So if you're a, a CD collector out here out there, you know, definitely come back and check out the show. Check out the show from that last Sunday where we talked about uh, the process of Record Store Day. That's gonna be little, gonna be a little changes here and there uh, for this year, but it's gonna be kind of interesting to see how this process rolls out and really what kind of changes they're gonna make next month for for the September uh, drop date. So definitely come back and check out the show uh, if you enjoyed the episode. Give it a old thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell down below to get uh, updates whenever we uh, release new episodes. And that's all I got. Until next time, keep on spinning. Peace.